I was just really pleased with the way we started today. Um, we've talked about it as a team that uh, over the last couple of weeks we were a bit slow out of the blocks and, and we know we can go 80 and we know we can play, but we just needed to start and I was just really proud of the way every single player went out there today and started that game. Uh, and, we, and we got points on the board which helps, but with more the performance that we did, the way we, the way we started was really pleasing. Pre-game, can you take us through the, 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 the opening and, and I mean, did you target certain things to, to get the start that you got today? Um, I wouldn't say we targeted. We had a week at home. We were able to get all our full week of prep done. We were able to get have a really good Thursday in the heat and get back into enjoying being here. Um, and then, as I said, it was more about our desire to carry hard at the start of the game. and. Um, you know, I think we did that well. Any, any particular players or, or moments that stood out for you that uh, was were, were crucial to the, to the win today? Um, look, I think yeah, across the board everyone did well. I, I think um, Asifa Masi a couple of times made crucial sort of line breaks. Um, he was running at one stage like he had spiders on him. He was a bit hard to tackle, but um, but the whole team, whole team got in behind and, and went well. Uh, it wasn't any one moment, that's what was pleasing today. Like in the past we've been able to say, what about that line break and what about that? But today it was just constant 15 man rugby that we just kept pushing across the line and you know, full credit to the tight five. They were, there was a bit of a massive put on them uh, during the week um, after the last couple of weeks and they really stepped up today. You talked about uh, the team uh, uh, playing in the rugby. Today we saw uh, the team had a good start in the first 40. Um, coming into the second half, uh, there was a bit of uh, sleeping performance in the second half. Could you take us through that? Uh... Yeah, I think it's just it's not it's got nothing to do with 80 minutes of footy. Uh, we won the game, we played well, and we nearly scored two tries in the last five minutes. So we're playing 80 minutes of football. We're a tough team. We're, we'll keep coming. We probably made a couple of poor choices coming out of our 22 um, early in that second half, which just kept the ball down our end. There was probably more a uh, decision making area rather than our ability to play 80 minutes. So, um, Philip Masilala making uh, his uh, debut today and uh, Michael Naitokani. Yep. Uh, what are your takes on them? Uh, just great first touch from Michael. Uh, he showed us why we brought him in. Uh, he's a very uh, good young player. Uh, he moves well. He's just, you know, finding his way at training. He's been training hard and he's learning how to become a professional rugby player and he's improved every week. Um, and that was great. And Phillips' first touches, you know, from the base of the ruck there, feeding the ball and getting on was great as well. So I'm very happy for those two young guys to be being Drua players today, and I'm sure they've got long careers in front of them. You want to win six out of six in the first six weeks, but if someone at the start of the year said to you, uh, at this point you'd be three from six, would you have taken it? Um, <laughs> Yeah, I probably would have, but I wouldn't have taken it. I would have taken it reluctantly because you know we. Uh, I look back over the last couple of weeks, and I thought there was another one there for us. But uh, yes, for sure, it's a good question. And where we were this time last year to where we are this year, it's good to have the the three wins on the board. Maybe we can see the battle scars from uh, today's game. Just uh, no big effort from the boys. Just uh, your comments on the game. The boys played uh, their hearts out today in order to defend our turf, so credits to the boys uh, for playing out, uh, out there like they doesn't want to give their uh, home ground to any team that comes to play here. What was it like for you um, uh, personally uh, captaining the side for the first time running out of uh, the team's team that's been on the board? Uh, captaining the side, it's... Uh, given me more responsibility, but uh, it's uh, how I self-lead myself and uh, to be better and I can lead the team better. So I thank uh, some from my teammates too for backing me up and uh, helping me around uh, some of the Frank Fijans uh, like Teddy Taylor, even uh, Tex Sikandibere. We try to talk to each other and uh, what is better for the team not just uh, by leading it, but to be better as a team. You were in the thick of things today. Um, what was the what atmosphere like, um, especially having the crowd behind the team? 
Uh, the crowd uh, really boost uh, some of the players up, uh, like playing in front of their family. And uh, the home crowd, uh, we talked about uh, as a players that uh, some of the family are using their uh, Sunday meals uh, to buy the tickets and coming out here to watch us uh, as their favorite team. So uh, for us to put out an uh, outcome on the field, uh, just to put back a smile on their faces, even they go home, they can be telling stories and all just to have their moments while watching the feet and going the super rugby lab. Ali, are you okay? Lee? Yeah, I'm 100% okay. Cram? Okay. Yes. And uh, the doctors will uh, recommend it uh, for my preparation again for the bye week. Will you be chip kicking next game? Uh, as usual. Maybe, maybe not chasing, just <laughs> chip kicking. <laughs> Covering the backfield after the kick. Mick, just with your been impressed from last year, the growth, especially around the areas of game management, exiting. Have the players taken a lot more ownership now? Can you step back a little bit and they come to you with game plans and, and how they want to play? Yeah, I think at training, there's, uh, you know, we, we put out a plan and there's a lot more feedback coming from the players now about uh, we'd be better if the eight carried there or the 12 carried there and they're the ones on the field and they're learning and. It's really impressive the, the amount of work that's coming back into our squad from those types of things. Um, you know, it's, it's, uh, we've come a long way in a short period of time in our professionalism. The understanding of the game is full credit to the coaches that, are, as, we, as we said after the Crusaders game, they're continually sitting down with the players and working and educating and full credit to the players for taking on board that. Uh, that, lo that learning and being able to come out under pressure and, and give a performance that is very, very close to what we set out to do. It's, it's very pleasing. Just uh, with uh, today's victory uh, and uh, against the Crusaders, how can we get the energy of getting home and winning at home to play in bonuses? Um, I think if we could take the sun with us, that would help. Um, but I, I think the boys, the boys have understood. Uh, we talked about it last week after the Highlanders game. Uh, just the fact that it was our first time on the road. It was a double week trip. We didn't train as much as we normally train, and we didn't handle that downtime as well as we could have. And that's on 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 myself. Um, from the leading leadership of the program and to just make sure that we're working harder in our downtime so that the players uh, feel like they're contributing. Um, we tried to back off a little bit and it's a good learning for us that we, you know, maybe we can do a little bit more work in those weeks. But I think all in all, uh, as we said on this journey that we're on, we're learning as we go. Um, we're in our first, you know, we've had 20 odd games of Super Rugby and we're learning every week and we took some great learnings from those last two weeks and I'm sure when we go on the road next time we'll, we'll be able to work on those. Nick, uh, three out of six now, just um, that uh, just in your week in the playoffs, uh, do you think you still reach? Three out of six games? Yep. That aim you to reach the playoffs? Yep. It's still a possibility? Definitely a possibility. Um, I think we're in the eight now, so... Uh, we need to keep winning, obviously, um, but we, as we said right along, um, our goal this year is to make the finals, um, and we, we are not hiding away from any of that. We didn't hide away from it last week when we had a couple of disappointing losses for, top, for teams behind us. We talked about it as a team, that you know, teams behind us on the ladder, we've got to take a jump. You know, we've, we've done that today. Uh, the Rebels had a good win last week. The Rebels are a very good side. They're well coached and, and they threw it at, at us today. We just needed to be very good at the start of today's game and we were. And that's probably the most pleasing thing. Uh, coach, uh, is there an update on the Drossessi's injury? Is there an update on uh, Drossessi's injury? Drossessi? Yeah, cramp. It just wouldn't go away. <laughs> he just got cramp and it wouldn't go away. And then went from his hamstring into his calf and then went across onto the other leg and then went up the other leg. So he was in a bit of trouble, but it's cramp. And uh, he wasn't the only one today. Um, and, you know, the speed, the guys with all the speed were getting all the cramps, weren't they? So, you know, that's just what happened. Nick, uh, 
got a few more games up ahead of you for um, the uh, playoffs. Uh, what's your strategy for the team uh, in preparation for these big games ahead of you? Uh, well, I think tonight we'll enjoy what we've done today. Um, it was a really tough week. Um, as I said, it was great to be back here, but it was hot. We trained in the heat, and Thursday was a solid session. And we had a physical day on Thursday. And uh, the boys will get around each other tonight with their families, and they'll enjoy tonight. And we've got a bye week coming up. So it's a great chance for all the players to sit back and, and reassess where they are physically. It's a great chance for us, and it's also they'll get a few days off. And then we'll come back in and we'll reassess the following game. And uh, we'll do our preparation like we always do. It'll be physical preparation. We'll take our learnings into the next week and we'll take, we'll take that next game as it comes. And they, there's tough games ahead. Like, like this, this competition is a tough competition. Every game's a tough game. So we don't want to get too far ahead of ourselves. And when we come back in to do the start of work next week, we'll be clearly focused on the game in front of us. Can we expect some more debutants to make their debut in the next few games? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. You know, um, there's not a lot left. Um, you know, there's a couple of players that we'd like to bring back into the team as well. Um, but we'll, we'll just take this chance to sit back this week and have a good look at our first six games, take our learnings on and off the field and allow some players to get a good recovery week in. We could see that there was a bit of a last minute change in the lineup uh, before the game today. We see that Frank was ruled out. Um, can you give us an update? Yeah, Frank was good. Like if he'd got the injury on Tuesday, he probably plays. It was just a like a bruised knee. He landed heavily at training on Thursday. He just landed on the knee, so it was like a bruise. And uh, he tried to get out there today. And full credit to him. It was you know it, it was a tough decision today. He would have loved to have gone out against the Rebels and played. But he's a, it's one of the most courageous and bravest decisions I've seen a player make to turn around and say, no, I'm not right for the team today. And full credit to him, and it shows the maturity he has and the sort of player, the person he is, that he said, no, I'm not right to go out today. And I'm sure he would have loved to have gone out against the Rebels. So full credit to him. But as I said, if he'd done, it on, done the injury on Tuesday, there's every chance he would have played today. Mick, are you a case that talks about the one percenters? If so, um, broke a, a losing run against Aussie teams. So, kick that box. And back-to-back -back wins for the very first time at, at home. Some other box kickers. There's been quite a few boxes being kicked. Yeah, I think when we're in our first year, Clarkie, um, uh, hopefully we, we keep kicking boxes. Um, Look, yeah, the one percenters are where the game's won or lost. It's uh, the ability to get off the ground and get around the corner. Sometimes it's just the ability to, to get up and back in, in play, um, second efforts. Um, and we're getting better and better at that. And, our, and players are, are learning and helping each other through it. So, yeah, we've ticked a couple of boxes, but there's, there's a couple more in front of us that we'd like to tick along the way as well. And uh, we just, as I said, we don't want to get too far ahead. I think the box we want like to tick this week is to have a great bye week. Uh, I don't think we ticked that box last year, um, but we'll tick it this year for sure. Just one final one, um, to the captain. We are celebrating Palm Sunday tomorrow. Any message for all the children? Okay. We are celebrating Palm Sunday. We give you an idea of how you are going to sing at the Nangito ni kuwa kwa kanya saraba sabo tayi sarana ba kambi bibi kemi na kena bavaro tagi tu na kena sulu na kwa kuchisu na kuni bavaro ni pamsa ndi bibi kemi sani itaka ni na maru taka chipo na kuni bavaro na shinga tambo ni ngone sato matamu ni na shinga tambo ngo kuni maru taka watachipo na ganga ni kuwa na.